You never fail me, no. You never fail me, not today, not tomorrow. I, you never fail me, no. Hey. Not tomorrow, hey. Hello, good afternoon, good day. My name is Debbie Allen. I'm wondering, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm so excited. Uh, it's because today is the final review of Bin Part 2. And this song I just played, You Never Feel Me, No, You Never Feel Me, Not Today, Not Tomorrow. It just um, encapsulates what I'm about to discuss with you as my review for the final episode of Bin Me. Um, it just shows that God never fails. It just shows that God is going to keep to his word. And this is an encouragement to someone watching this right now. It shows that God is not going to fail you. God is going to keep his promise to you. So enough of the encouragement. And I'm just really excited, you know. It's, God is just, it's just so good. Yeah, you will have your down times. You will have your waiting period. What well, That's what this movie is all about. The waiting room. And when God tells you that you're going to wait for something or God puts you in a waiting room in terms of a particular blessing or promise that he has for you. So let me just jump into it. Um, this final episode, what I really took home in this episode is the power of timely intervention. You know, the Holy Spirit nudged Benny to quickly go to the, um, to a boss's place and after seeing that scandal on her phone so imagine if she had just said let me just bring them or let me just you know quickly do something and i'll go see them if that moment was a very dire moment and if she had not gone immediately only god knows what would have happened to the life of that lady and you know it 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 boils down to us as christians when god lays or the holy spirit lays something in your heart or maybe put someone in your or maybe you just see that you're thinking about someone that could just be holy spirit telling you to do something to maybe pray for them or to just put a call through to ask if they are doing well that might just be a saving grace for someone and so i see the power of timely intervention in that scene and i really thank god because it never leaves us comfortless it's always going to Put someone else to you know pray for you or to strengthen you when you are weak ne you never can say the people that have been praying for you that's why when you go through tribulations and you pass through it don't just say oh i did it because i'm strong thank god because you never can say someone might just be standing in the gap for you and you have no clue about it so enough of that um lesson that i learned so another lesson that i learned in this movie is the power of intercession hey hey the power of intercession ah of course first of all the power of revelation because the holy spirit you know revealed his mind to bring me about our husband john and what is likely to go through and immediately she started praying and started praying for her husband and you know god being so good he was able to overcome look at how the power of intercession was able to save a man from falling ah man i really really learned a lot from this scene and that's why when god lays you know a body in our heart we should act upon it we should pray because you never can say whose life depends on it you know so immediately she had that revelation she started praying and look at how god manifested his help because really look at that scene where bookie came to tempt um to to put him in trouble by you know saying that she wants to have him and there's nothing he's going to do about it look at that scene there was nothing physically possible for him to do the key of the door was inside her clothes so is he going to now say he wants to take the key he can't say he's going to take the key because if he takes that key it means that he's going to touch her body so how is he going to do it so physically there was no help for him and it only took the intervention the help of god you know as the holy spirit laid in his wife had to pray for him and look at what he came up with 
you know, I think it's to start with the scripture. And from there, he took his phone and he said, hey, I'm going to, I'm on Instagram Live. I'm going to show the world. And look at how that happened. So for me, it was just like, wow. The power of intercession is really, really great. And I was really, really happy. And that they portrayed this even in the in his um in the wife's life um another you know highlight for me i wouldn't call it an highlight but something that they did that i really enjoyed is the fact that the movie ended the same way um the ep episode uh, the part one ended you know <laughs> the way um Grammy wrote um i am pregnant when he was on uh, the pulpit you know ministering to people the same way it happened in the um part one of Grammy when he said that I will marry when she replied that I will marry you so I like that you know twist uh it was just a really nice movie to watch so in all um the whole movie game part one part two what he was just saying was you know we will go through a lot as Christians the fact that God has you know called us to a life of ease does not mean that the devil will not try the devil will not try to you know steal our joy to steal our happiness to steal our marriage to steal you know whatever god has given to us or it doesn't mean that you know when god is with you you will not go through trials you know jesus was in the boat yet the storm still reached so it does not mean that you will not go through difficulties but you are assured of victory if you look to Jesus and if you continually walk in the spirit because any loophole from your side the devil will take advantage of it you know and that's why we need to be watchful the Bible says that we should walk circumspectly that we should within, we should um, redeem the time because the days are evil so every single time watch and pray because you never can say the flesh is weak even though the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. So that's why it says that we should watch and pray. You never can say what is happening to a friend of yours or even you, what the devil has prepared for you. So it's really important that we should take the keys, the weapons of our warfare, which is the sword. Um, major one that he dwelt on in this movie was the, 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 the act of prayer and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So... In our day-to-day -day lives, let's incorporate prayer. You are going out, pray. You are coming in, pray. You are going somewhere, pray about it. Every single thing, in every single way, take your time to pray. And, you know, make sure you give yourself to the study of the word. It's really going to help you. Imagine if these people didn't have the word of God inside of them. What is Bim, what was Bimmy going to pray about? She's going to just say, God help my husband, God help my husband. But the Bible says that the word of God is 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 he said the, the Bible says that he honors his word above his name. So it means that the importance of the word can't be overemphasized. Imagine if Bimmy didn't know any scripture, or maybe she had not taken time to stay in the word of God and to really know the word of God, what God was saying concerning her. Imagine what how was she gonna take uh, how was she going to you know go about that uh, prayer you know so it's just really important that we give ourselves to the keys that god has given us which is prayer and the word of god majorly i'm not saying that of course we have other weapons of warfare it's all there in Ephesians 6 so don't let me take your time take care my name is Derby Allen I am the godly Tikuma in a sense of purpose anyways I'm so excited bye uh.